everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is February 14th, 2020. It is Friday. It is also Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Uh, so, what I have done today, uh, I have a, I've compiled a list of 30, or, well, not, it's not even close to 30. It is, uh, let's see, 27 different things that you should need to prepare to. What, what's happening right now. So basically preparing for a pandemic type of situation, okay? So we're going to start going over those in a second. I want to remind everybody right off the bat, I will be live streaming tonight, 8 o'clock Eastern Time. If you would like to join me then, um, please join me. We're going to be talking about everything that's going on, the updated numbers, uh, all the latest things that are happening and stuff like that. So we're going to go over a lot of those different things. We're you know, he'll ha answer obviously questions and stuff like that as well. Okay, so we'll go over all of that um, tonight. So eight o'clock Eastern time. So please join me um, at that point in time. Okay. So, all right. Let's. Oh, so I did want to remind everybody too before I get going with this video because it's going to take a little while. The sale on my website continues. If you are looking to add to your freeze dried food storage, uh, we have twenty percent off of all the legacy food except for the sample packs. If you go to my website at PrepperNurse1.com, uh, you click on the, the uh, store, it drops down, it'll say Legacy Foods, click on that, and there you are. And it has everything right there. The only thing not on sale is the sample packs, okay? So anything else is on sale 20% off. So, and that is taken at checkout. So if you were interested in that, I just wanted to put that out there. That sale will continue until the 23rd of February, okay? So just get that out of the way. So first of all, I got my list, I had to write everything down. So, uh, what we need, I put a list together of 30 things. And number one, and you're going to think, why is this number one? But I'm going to explain why I believe it's number one. Number one is going to be plastic sheeting, okay? So why is plastic sheeting so very important? Okay, so I'm going to give you an, an idea of what I picked up here recently. Uh, this is 20 by 25 feet. Uh, it's 4 mil plastic sheeting. It's 500 square feet altogether. Okay, uh, very easy. Pick this up at uh, Walmart. I already have plastic sheeting here already. Uh, I picked up actually two of these, and I just wanted something heavy-duty plastic. And I'm going to explain to you why. Um, I've talked about in my videos before. One of the things that you can do with plastic sheeting is uh, you make a separate room, so you have that separate room. Uh, what you know, and you can cut rooms off with that plastic sheeting. The other things that you can do is you can seal up doorways. You can seal up windows uh, also with the plastic sheeting. So if there's something outside uh, that, you know, it's bad or whatever, then you, it, it, it's another barrier for you. Okay, so that's another reason plastic sheeting is good. The third reason plastic sheeting is good, if you have to remove bodies and, you know, and if they are contaminated, uh, this way, if you have the plastic sheeting, I don't think a whole lot of people have a whole bunch of body bags laying around their houses, okay? So, uh, plastic sheeting is a great way to remove bodies as well, all right? Along with that, number two that goes along with that is duct tape. Uh, this is Gorilla Tape. This is what I like to use. Use whatever you want. Uh, to me, this is the best. I have probably six or seven rolls of this all together. Uh, laying around, I'd have to, I don't even know what the count is to be honest with you, but I have a lot of Gorilla Tape. Uh, this is stuff will stick to everything, okay? Uh, it's 1.88 inches times 35 yards. So one thing of, of the Gorilla Tape will go a long way. Uh, I like to have a lot of that on hand. Again, if you're sealing up doors, you're making separate barriers, this thing, you stick this up there with it, it's not going to go anywhere, okay? So that's really important to have as well. Uh, number two, it's uh, disposable gloves. So I'm going to give you an example of that. Hold on a second. So here's 200 gloves. Picked them up at Walmart. Uh, I actually, when I went recently here and did a shopping spree, I picked up three boxes of these. And it says uh, one size fits most. But really good to have on hand, and they have, you know, they have the, these are the 200 count, they have the 100 count boxes, 
they have the latex free as well whatever works for you I would highly 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 recommend that you have disposable gloves at your disposal and that funny kind of thing right but a really good thing to have okay uh, here's another thing that people aren't thinking about disposable foot protection you ever see those things that like the doctors and stuff have like the little booties that they put on the reason that they do that is germs people are sneezing and stuff like that and with like the coronavirus that it can stay on the surface for a long period of time if you're walking around now it's on the bottom of your shoes and you come into your house and a lot of people like to put their feet up on the furniture there's kids running around the whole nine yards um, having the disposable footwear if you're going in or out in public or a contaminated area not a bad thing to have if things are spreading really really bad okay number four is going to be disposable aprons so you have the aprons that you can put on um, is another form of protection all right real good to have uh, especially if you're working with you know body fluids and all that type of stuff uh, number five is going to be n95 mask or if you can get the n100s or whatever you can get as far as masks go uh, definitely definitely get those number six well it's actually number seven but uh, face shields and eye protection okay so if you go any kind of eye protection swim goggles whatever so that your eyes are protected uh, definitely get something that you can do that with okay uh, the next one we have uh, the Tyvek disposable coveralls uh, again if you are dealing anybody that's been in the medical field knows already but for the those of you that are not when you deal with body fluids um, it's not just snot and uh, you know somebody's coughing and stuff like that it's also body fluids and uh, you know when people can't control themselves and I'm going to tell you what, guys, I have had uh, doo-doo up to my elbows before liquid doo-doo. So um, not a pleasant time, I can tell you that, but uh, it does happen. So having those, uh, those Tyvek gowns that you see people wearing uh, that you can step into, and real good way to have overall protection, okay? Uh, the next thing I think a lot of people aren't thinking about this is having thermometers. Uh, having a way to be able to check, peop or check people's temperatures. And I know they have the tympanics now where you scan it on the forehead and it gives you automatically. You know, old school thermometers work really, really well as well. Nice to have. Uh, they're really cheap. They're not expensive at all. It'd be a real good idea to pick some of those up, okay? Uh, so, let's see. The next thing is fever reducer, all right? So, if you have, you know, Tylenol, Advil, whatever you're going to have, um, like I said, I, I generally, when I buy Advil, I buy, you know, here's here's an example. There's 500 in one container. I have quite a few of these around uh, just because we use Advil here at the house. And, uh, you know, it's a really, really good thing to have. If you're into Tylenol or, or whatever you're into, uh, definitely get it by the bigger bottles. Great to have on hand. And if everybody's running to go and get that, you're not going to have that stuff for long, okay? Uh, so then you're going to need your constipation meds, okay? Uh, if, if somebody is taking painkillers, a lot of times what happens is they become constipated. So you need to have something that's going to help with that constipation, all right? Um, also along with that, the next one would be anti-diarrheals. Uh, if people are having diarrhea really, really bad, having, you know, Imodium and those type of things is going to really help. Um, so having plenty of that on hand is also a really, really good thing. Next thing would be cough drops, throat lozenges, okay? Uh, you don't really think about it, but if your throat is really, really sore, having that cough drop to suck on and help, and that helps. And you can get the medicated ones as well that really help that, that with that sore throat. All right, inflammation uh, reducer. Again, if you're having issues, it's good to have those different things as well. Uh, the next one is vitamin C in uh, coneflower. That's going to help build up your immune system. You should be taking those right now uh, because it's not going to hurt you at all. And it helps to build up that immune system. Uh, so really important to have that. Echinacea, another really good thing to have. All right. Uh, the next one would be having plenty of water storage. If you're dealing with six people or sick people, the normal rule of thumb is one gallon per person per day, but when you're looking dealing with sick people, you're looking to have to have a gallon and a half at least of water to deal with that person uh, for trying to rehydrate them, trying to keep them, you know, in, in those type of things and cleaning them up and trying to keep them washed up. 
Uh, let's see, the next one would be water filters. Uh, water filters are really, really important. But I have all kinds of different water filters that I have here. Uh, you know, I have like the big Berkey, as you guys know, and I have other things as well that I use as water filters. But my go-to thing on a daily basis is my big Berkey. I'm, I'm not going to lie, I use it every single day. So, but that's right for my home. It sits right on my counter, and I filter everything that I drink, okay? Uh, let's see. Okay, the next one would be hydration powder. So, like your Gatorade powders and stuff like that, you're trying to boost your electrolytes. So, you can mix that in with that water, and then it gives them that not only the liquid, but it also helps jump up their electrolytes with everything that's in, like, the Gatorade powder and stuff like that. Really, really important to have, okay? Uh, the next one, and I've talked about this before, but I'm actually going to put a number on here. I'm going to say 100 contractor garbage bags, okay? Uh, you can go to Lowe's, Home Depot, wherever you go to get your stuff like that. And uh, the contractor garbage bags are a great, great thing to have. Really important, excuse me, um, really important to have. And so I think you should absolutely have them. And that's more, and again, you could be using that, the contractor garbage bags, to dispose of bodies and stuff like that as well. All right. The next one would be 100 in, indoor trash bags. Uh, really important to have those as well because there's going to be a lot of stuff that you're going to want to get rid of. So if you have at least 100 of those, that's going to help you out a lot. Uh, so cans with tight-fitting lids on them. So like you have your metal garbage cans that you have. Um, you can pick them up fairly cheaply. you got that lid on there. It seals up there pretty good. It's a good thing to have as well. Okay. Antibacterial soap for hand washing. Really, really important, guys. Um, you're definitely going to need to have, you know, that soap to help wash up. I want to finish drinking my tea before it goes cold on me. Uh, let's see. Okay, you also are going to want to have a quality body fluids cleanup kit. So they have that Super Zorb. You can look that up. Um, real good thing to have to help, you know, because if you've got the bodily fluids on you and stuff like that, you definitely don't want to cross-contaminate, okay? Uh, let's see. Okay, so here's the next one. You want to make sure that you have hard copies of medical books, okay? So like your herbal remedies, your uh, survival meds that you can get and stuff like that. Really good things to have. Uh, it's so that it's a kind of a go-to thing as a reference thing. I think it's really, really important to have. The next one I have on here is bleach. Uh, bleach is really, really important. Bleach has a shelf life, so you're going to want to make sure if you're getting bleach that you're putting it into that rotation. So bleach is a really important one to have as far as cleaning everything up and, and really going everything. Uh, next would be disinfectants. I mean, obviously bleach is in that category, but having other disinfectants as well I think is really, really important, like hand sanitizer and those type of things. So I was just going to show you some of the other medical meds that, like I have, uh, NyQuil, you know, basically nighttime cold and flu relief, right? Uh, DayQuil as well, so if you're up there in the day, you don't want it knocking you out, but uh, really good to have. Another thing that I like to have, uh, Tussin DM, okay, that's cough and chest congestion again. Another one is Delsum, I like Delsum, um, been using that one for years. And then, with what's going on, uh, mucus DM, okay, so then you got, you know, the two different kinds of mucus relief and mucus DM. I think it's really important because if you're having, uh, one of the things with this virus is it represents as the flu. So people are not realizing that they actually have the virus when they think they just have the flu. So that's a scary thing, okay. But with this here, if you're, you're going to treat this like you would treat the flu, obviously, okay. But uh, having the medications on hand, guys, I think it's really important. If this thing truly jumps off here in, in the United States, like I, I personally believe that it will. Um, I can't say, yes, I know it will, but I believe that it will. You are not going to be able to get these, okay? You're not going to be able to get them at because everybody and their brother is going to be out there collecting all that stuff. The gloves, forget about it. Mask, try to go out now and get an N95 mask. It's almost impossible. There's not much of anything around anymore, okay? So, and actually I'll show you, hold on. I have... There's an example of the N95 mask, okay? So I will... 
one second. As you can see, I haven't even taken them out of the containers, but there you go. There's your N95 masks. Uh, really, really important to have. If you can get a hold of them, if you can get them, that's great. Okay, so let's see where this one came from. Ah, imagine that. Made in China. What a surprise, right? But again, really good thing to have. Very important to have if you can get them. Um, you know, try to get that. Anything that you can possibly get that's going to help you is going to be a help. Uh, I know they're getting as scarce as hen's teeth. I don't know where that ever saying came from, but their hens don't have teeth. So, um, but anyway, so just so you know, guys, I think it's really important to prepare as much as we possibly can for what is coming. Uh, really, really important to do that, okay? So I really strongly encourage you, get things ready, get things now. Um, there is going to be a rush on things when the time comes. So the more that you can put in place now, things are already starting to get scarce. I had somebody just wrote me the other day. Um, here's another one. Let me just show you real quick. Rubbing alcohol, 91%. They said at their store there was none in stock. They'd never seen that before. They actually work at a Walmart. They've never seen it completely out of stock before. Okay, If you get the chance, go and get this stuff now. Really, really important stuff to have, guys. Uh, the more medical supplies that you can put in place and have when everybody else is scrambling and running around with a chicken, like a chicken with their head cut off, and you can sit back and go, I'm as ready as I can be. It's a good feeling. Um, don't be the ones doing it at the last minute. We're running out of time. I did a video yesterday about the window of opportunities closing. It's closing. The more people get scared, the more rush you're going to see on the stores. So just be calm, be smart, get out there, be creative, and get what you can now. Okay? Uh, paint stores have the respirators that you can pick up there as well. They're more expensive, but they're really good to have. Okay? Uh, so anyway, guys, that's my video for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Again, join me tonight, 8 o'clock Eastern Time. I will be doing a live stream. We'll be doing all the updates. We'll be going all over the latest information and everything that's going on. So please join me then. All right? I will see you all later. I hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, remember, guys, we are all in this together. That's important to remember. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really, really important that you tell the people that you care about every single day, okay? Also remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you are trying to do, whatever you are trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that can stop you is you. Nobody else can stop you. Stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and just get ready. That's my advice to people. Get ready. Because there's too many unknowns with what is going on. All right? I will talk to you all later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.